Motorsport auctions are the global marketplace to buy and sell used race and rally cars, parts and associated equipment. Visit their website for more details. Good morning everybody, welcome back to Buzzle Race Roundup for round 3 of the 2015 BMW Z4 and Mazda MX-5 Championship. We're at Okiyama full course this week for round 3, it's Simon Underhill and Turks Pole ahead of Brendan Dills and Barry Bird. Second in the championship overall, Van Delden sits in fourth ahead of Gawinicki and Bamba. Moving down to the MX-5s, there are championship leader Adam Thorne, he's had a fantastic start to the event, he's on pole ahead of Russell Barnes and Matt Talaya. Alan McCain for the Bentley boys is in fourth ahead of Ricky Green and Darren Ford. At the back of the field it's Martin Brandon and Marion Brandon who complete the lineup for this week's race. Bowden Solutions are on top in the team standings ahead of Acorn Printing and MKB Racing. Motorsport Auctions have three cars on the grid they'll be looking to improve this week. Our onboard camera at Okiyama is on board with Barry Bird. His 1 minute 30.626 put him in third overall for Tech Speed Racing. Bird is starting his third race with Bosra this week. This was his final lap of the qualifying session, lap number 11, so he put absolutely everything into this to try and secure a top three on the grid. Barry's previous results at Summit Point, he started 10th and finished 9th, and then at Brunt Hatch last week, he started 6th and finished 7th. Heading towards Moss S and then down towards Outward Curve, Bird's team Tech Speed Racing currently sit 5th in the championship overall. They've only had 5 starts between the 4 drivers though, so that is something they really need to work on and try and get drivers on the grid each week. So up through Outward Curve onto the back straight, the fastest part of the course here at Okiyama. Now competition time, just a quick reminder about our giveaway that's coming up in December, we're chucking together a package of Bosra goodies. That will include a Bosra polo shirt and baseball cap, a coffee mug and backpack and a couple of bumper stickers as well. This is in conjunction with Acorn Printing, one of our partners, so if you fancy a chance of winning that, all you've got to do is head over to our website and take out one of our subscriber packages. We'll be looking to do more of them in 2016 and obviously the more people who sign up for a package, then the bigger and better the prizes will be. So on to Barry's lap then, he's now coming up towards Redmond and Hobbs in the final sector of the circuit. So through the left hander then comes Barry and up towards the first of two right handers. Through Hobbs this tightens up as you go round. Now down towards Mike Knight and the start of the pit lane. We have seen drivers miss that before and pick up penalties as they come in late and across the grass. Bird now coming through the final corner and onto the main straight. That is his qualifying lap. So will anyone be able to catch Bowden Solutions out front? Let's head to the start of the race then and find out. Acorn Printing are the team wear supply for Bosra and have even produced clothing items for President Clinton. See the video description to learn more. We go trackside, keep an eye on Brendan Tills, there on the left hand side making a false start. Simon Underhill will be wanting to capitalise this week after a pole position to get Bentley boys right back up there. Barry Baird's up into second position and Van Delden there on the left in the Acorn printing cars in third. He's followed just behind by Goenicke and Neil Bamba. All the drivers navigating their way through turn one, up into the left hand of turn two. Van Delden has a look up the inside of Bird but can't make the move. Bamba will want to stay hot on the heels of Van Delden they fight it out for driver of the year. We're going to move now to the start of the MX-5 race though. So everyone got away safely in the MX-5s. So it was the Bowdoin Solutions pairing of Barnes and Thorne out front. They'll both be looking to try and maximise and take the Quas win again today. Acorn Printing starting further back will be wanting to keep up their good spell after the first two races. With Okiyama being a wide track, there's plenty of room for the Z4 to get past the MX-5s and there's always plenty of action here. It wasn't long before we see one of the cars taking a spin. It was Jan Elizabeth as he completed his first couple of laps. Coming through the left hander, he lost the back end but did manage to keep the car in a straight line. He rejoined behind Scott Malcolm. Another place people always lose it here at Okiyama is turn two. Matt Toya was the first to do that this week. He lost the car and ended up into the wall. Now keep your eye on the track, keep an eye out for the team clockwork cars. You see the second of them almost losing it and tucking in between the Acorn printing team. It's only lap two but there's plenty of action in the MX-5 class. You see everyone diving for the hairpin, cars off track including Chris Buttrell and one of the Motorsport Auctions team. There's a, also a tap in the back from one of the team clockwork cars. So fantastic start to the race here as we turn our attention to the BMW Z4s. If Van Delden was into the pits very early on, this is only lap number four. Is that a fuel issue or is it a planned stop? With Van Delden coming into the pits, that allowed Neil Bamber to take third position. You just see him going past there. Simon Underhill is still out front ahead of Barry Bird. 
So we're moving on again, and as you can see, the BMWs have started to lap the MX-5s. We're watching Chris Buttrell coming into the third sector here at Okiyama. There's his teammate Francis Linnell on the left-hand side. Now, as we come into one of the final few corners, Chris does get a tap from his teammate. That won't help a corn print in at all. Staying with the MX-5s, we're watching Francis Linnell being chased by Martin Brandon. Team Quat work trying to make moves up the track as you see one of the Z4s coming through as well. Martin then started to slide, his teammate avoids him, but Martin needing a pit stop and repairs. Adam Thorne had been dominating the MX-5 class ahead of his teammate. Here you see one of the uh, Team Quat work cars making his way through the field. Adam runs wide though through turn two. His teammate stays on track, Russell Barnes, and watches as Adam slides across the track and puts it into the wall. He was another one, he'll be really disappointed with that as he needed a pit stop as well. Martin Brandon had recovered after putting it into the wall and was chasing Ricky Green down the back straight towards the hairpin. Tech speed racing just behind them. Ricky Green on the outside breaking early. Martin going deep into the corner. Ricky then tucked up the inside of the hairpin as we came through and there's contact between the two. Martin then forced off track. The second pit stop required for him. In the Z4s, Phil Gregory and Barry Bird were scrapping it out for 11th and 12th overall on lap number 10. There's also fighting the way through the traffic as they came up to Atwood Curve and Barry Bird putting the power down too early, spinning off the track but avoiding the wall. He then rejoins the track, carries on for a little while longer, tries to get the power down again. Again too much and this time it is into the wall for Barry. To one of the best scraps we've seen in a while in the MX-5s, this was Jan Molesva and Darren Ford. Both of them giving each other room, being quite respectful as they make their way around the track. This is about halfway through the race and they had been going at it lap after lap. So Jan keeping it on track and tight through there, Darren takes the inside. Absolutely nothing separating these two, we'll come back to these in a little while. Jumping on board with David Rowland in the Z4, he's chasing Martin Goiner here just up ahead. We're coming through traffic onto the back straight, that's Ricky Green in the MX-5. David getting the run on Martin down here, tucking in behind him and then pulling out to make the pass. Now who would be the latest on the brakes? We're going to switch cameras now and go outside. See David has got the inside line and the move all sewn up. It shows that the battles are fantastic not just in the MX-5s but the Z4s as well. Martin would continue to pressure David for quite a while after that move. We now move to their Z4 teammates which are Van Delden and Bamba. Yes of course this battle has been going on all year. We don't need to tell you that and how close it is at the top of the driver's standings overall. So they're making their way through traffic. You can see a key back tire there in the Bodium Solutions car flickering due to his connection. Coming up on the Acorn Printing teammates of Van Delden, they're going to, have to keep out of the way to let them through. Neil Bamba tries to make the move around the outside through the hairpin, but can't manage to pull it off. You see Francis Winnell goes wide and then cuts back across track and into the side of Neil Bamba. Now that's great for Acorn Printing, but Neil will be absolutely furious with Francis because of that. We stay on board with Neil because just a few corners up, you can see Francis just up ahead. And Marion Bradshaw there, so Neil tries to come up the inside can't get past Marion at all so badges his way through but that leaves damage in the wake for other cars as well so Neil carries on we're gonna skip now and watch David Rowan because he got caught up in it you can see just ahead there on the left the incident taking place David coming up on it now as Marion rejoins the track and into the side of David and takes him out as well the MX-5 do need to be careful and make themselves aware of what is going on around them Act I got a friendly nudge in the back from Brendan Tills as they came round outward curve Brendan had been fighting for this place for quite a while and did manage to complete the move through there. You see Akib still having connection problems. That makes it very difficult to judge a pass at all. We're going to move to the MX-5. This is back with the battle with Darren Ford and Jan Molesva. This has been fantastic all race long. We saw them earlier on. While we watch them then, let me just remind you as I always do, if you haven't already, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you do enjoy our videos and are wondering what to watch next, you can always catch up with rounds 1 and 2 of this championship. If you've seen them, we do have a trading paints walkthrough and we are doing more of them in the near future. And also this week we've launched our Motorsport Auctions promo. That was a project we worked on for them for the Koi Motor Expo. Don't forget as well, you can always check out our Facebook page and Twitter account. We're updating them every so often with new information. So this battle between Ford and Molesva carried on until Jan Molesva lost the back end coming through this left-hander. That allowed Darren Ford to take the position. A sad end to the battle. It had been fantastic to watch as you see both of the team quad work cars coming through and the Z4s coming up behind. Jonathan Beresford on the final lap added more incident points to his total. Don't forget we are giving bonus points now for clean races, so that wouldn't have done him any good. 
So Jonathan rejoins the track and we are now going to concentrate on our race winner. Yes, Simon Underhill led from start to finish. A fine performance for him and a well-deserved victory for the Bentley Boys Racing Team. Van Delden finished second ahead of Brendan Tills in third. Bowden Solutions produce the very best load cell mods and pedal adapters to use with Thrustmaster wheels. You can order yours now at bowdensolutions.com. Confirmation of the race results, we'll start with the BMW Z4s then, it was Simon Underhill who took the win ahead of Van Delden and Tills, Simon also picked up the bonus point for fastest lap of the race. Neil Bamber finished in 4th ahead of Ryan Walker and Martin Gwenicke in 6th for Acorn Printing, a great week for them. Phil Gregory was in 7th ahead of Bird and Axar, with Thorne Beresford and Rowan rounding out the Z4s. To the MX-5s, it was Russell Barnes who finished ahead of Adam Thorne, taking him off the top spot of the podium. Scott Malcolm finished in third ahead of Ricky Green and Darren Ford. Don't forget him and Moiseva had a fantastic battle, then finishing 17th and 18th overall. Chris Buttrell and Francis Winnell, a poor week for them for Acorn Printing. They're ahead of Talia and McCain, with Brandon and Bradshaw bringing up the rear. To the overall driver standings, it is Adam Thorne who still leads from Van Delden, Underhill leapfrog Scott Malcolm into third. Russell Barnes climbs a massive six places this week and the big losers are David Rowland and Gary Bradshaw. In the team standings, not a lot has changed, Bowden Solutions still lead from MKB Racing and Acom Printing, Bentley Boys sit in fourth ahead of Team Clockwork and most sport auctions are ahead of Tech Speed Racing. That's it from this this week, don't forget to join us next week at Zolder for round four, we'll hope to see you then. Thanks for watching, bye bye.